Hey guys, welcome to this gear review on guitarlessons.com. We're gonna take a look at the Line 6 Spider 4. I can't believe they're up to the fourth series already. Anyway, the 15 watt Line 6 Spider 4. It's a one eight inch speaker, 15 watts, obviously. And um, last night I had uh, some death clock in my head and that's what that little intro playing was. I'm not sure if that's how you play that, but uh, that's what I heard it in my head. Anyways, these amps, the Line 6 Spider series, to me, are particularly great for like hard rock and heavy metal, that kind of vibe. Really good metal tone. Um, you can do blues stuff or jazz stuff on them, good clean tone, but I think the forte and what these guys are really good at is hard rock and metal. So let's take a look at some of the features of this amp. Basically right here, you have four different presets that are like radio buttons. You push one, you can only have one on at a time. So we'll start with a clean. And that's pretty dry. I think there's just a tiny bit of reverb on there. If you go over to your crunch channel, that's where you would do like your blues, or your classic rock kind of tone. It's great for a little practice. And by the way, these are only uh, 99 bucks, 100 bucks generally everywhere you see them. And when I used to work at a music store, we used to uh, just sell these like hotcakes. It's probably the most popular practice hemp that we used to sell. Anyway. Continuing on, the, um, the tone that you heard at the beginning, the intro of this video, I just had on a regular metal setting, this amp model right here. So you can see that's pretty good amount of gain, pretty great for metal. And if you wanna just go all the way out with your gain, go to the insane setting, and it just goes over the top of the gain. I personally like the metal one if I'm gonna be rocking out to some heavier music. But, you know, that's all personal preference right there. I'm just giving you a taste of what this amp can do overall. And you can see that you have, just like most other amps out there, you have your drive, your amount of gain you have, bass, middle, and treble, and your channel volume too. Now one thing that's cool about this amp is if, like say, you dial in a tone that you really like on your metal setting right here, if you wanna save it for later, all you have to do is hold it down and it saves it for you just like your radio presets on your car stereo radio. Or if you have a crunch setting that you like, dial it in, let's say I wanted more bass and a bit more gain on there. And if I love that tone that I get, just hit that and it saves it for me right away. All right, the Spider 15 comes with a tuner built in as well, and all you have to do to access the tuner says right here the tap button, which we'll get to later for effects. Just hold that down, and that engages your tuner. And you see the lights flashing over here with your amp models, and once the two middle ones stay lit, that means you're in tune. If just the, the ones to the left are lit, that means you're flat. And if it just wants the rider lit, that means you're too sharp. Two in the middle, good to go. And I thought it was a pretty good tuner for the money for the feature on an amp. You can decide for yourself. All the tuning I'm doing in this video is done. On this guitar, is done with this amp. So if you think this guitar is in tune, that's a pretty good judge of how good the tuner works. So, Okay, for an amp that's only 100 bucks, this thing comes loaded with a pretty good amount of effects. And uh, here are your two effects knobs. This one is like your modulation effects. You're gonna have choruses, flanders, phaser, and a tremolo on this one, and I'll give you a taste of each one. So let's turn, the, turn it up and you get uh, this first section, just the first half of it kind of is flanger, so. Keep going and you move kind of into the chorus realm of things. Keep going, the next uh, category is phasers. It's pretty heavy, it's a pretty thick kind of uh, effects going on here. And then finally the tremolo at the end. It's pretty extreme. You don't have a tons of control over the effects, but you do get a lot of options, which is pretty cool. Now this knob over here 
is going to uh, control any kind of echoes or delays you have, and then some reverb too here as well. So let's uh, give you an idea of what that sounds like. And this is where the tap tempo function comes into play too. If you have any of these parameters, as far as like time based or delay stuff, you can control how fast or slow the delay is. So if you want a faster delay, tap it in faster. For kind of a slide back effect. Okay, let's see what the sweep echo sounds like for you guys. Kind of a really strange effect, but it's nice to have at your disposal. And then uh, finally the reverb right over here. Crank it up a bit more for you. some clean tone to hear that with. All right, right over here we have the headphones slash recording out output. And as you can see, we have that plugged in right here. And all the stuff you're hearing on this video is going to direct out of this output right into the board. So that's exactly pretty much the tone you're gonna get in your headphones or if you're going into a board or recording with this amp or something like that. The FBV pedal input is something that you can buy in addition to this amp. And it's basically a foot controller. You can do just a foot controller to change between the four channels, or you can buy the one with the expression pedal on it to control like a wah or volume two. And those are really cool, so you don't have to switch over, go and um, switch channels manually, and you get the option of a wah pedal too, which is really nice. Another little feature that's nice right here is the CD slash MP3 input. If you have a CD or iPod or MP3 player or something like that that you want to jam along to, you don't have any headphones with you or something, if you plug that in here, push play on it, it'll come out of your amp or out of your headphones, whichever ones, if you're using the headphone jack, and you can jam along to it as well. So that's a pretty cool little feature. Okay, so the Line 6 Spider for 15 watt is a great option for you, I think, if you're into metal or hard rock stuff and you don't want to spend a lot of money on an amp and you want to keep it smaller if you live in an apartment or something like that. Uh, may not be for you if you're into more jazz or blues, but if you like a kind of an edgier blues tone, you might like it a lot. So check it out, see if it's for you, go through all the effects and settings right there in the music store wherever you are so you can check it out for yourself in person. See you guys next time.